Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither of the Learmen making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Focus! <laughs> As you know, that ain't the way to the board. Fine. Take your fancy dance. Think I don't mind stretching my legs? <laughs> Catch up with you any damn time I want. Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering. Snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cave. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Huh. 
What? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh. Watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> hey! Calling all peckers! <laughs> in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to Anokin. But Sindri had never had it, said a two-on-coups. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, bro, I've never seen you so... Reverend. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No. Go on, pasty, turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way, let me look. Oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things, follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Miss Lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. She doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. <laughs> Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. 
All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your homos forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature 
of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without destroying the world. We got volunteers! Oh, I felt that one, brother. This one, boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about. It. Hey, Hartrock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than one. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. 
The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that? Kratos, what do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. 
Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing, whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? For some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? 
This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. It is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. <sighs> Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? <sighs> Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. <clears throat> I can't give in to it. Three. Hey, it's through. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea, training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point, but did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't, that didn't hurt also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather, right, okay, uh, here, then take this and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Atreus. See you later, Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd. Mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? down in this library. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. Finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir. Isn't it? The first giant? Tell me. Can you murder a landslide? Smother a storm? He was more. A force of nature. A vessel of power. I was young, foolish. Saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to. To protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath, wind. It's gotta be Helheim. 
Elheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim <sighs> without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through it. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Yep. We gotta get out of here. The mask. We're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe. He's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. He just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right. Let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There was another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. A dead end? Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's. How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here. Through. Through. It's it's gonna be okay. How can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the beast. holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less 
from half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? You see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! You're so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the Alba. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Boogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away, sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Oatnard. I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well. Worth the item we discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, <laughs> they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Thanks a lot. Throat, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home? Before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, 
Screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard. But everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. OK, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. I thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, I might be waiting a while. Of course. Mr. Gateway, quick. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so badly? Okay. Guess it's time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no! It's you! Wait! It's you! Protect yourself! Yeah. Where's Barbara? Trying to find a way to you! Do you mind? We're being attacked right now! Atreus! Watch out! <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
Lassa. Reef. Lassa. Lassa. Reef. Lassa. Reef. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. Over. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? God, just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fucklad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we... Fixed together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Elon. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say.
Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, return to Helheim post-haste and undo whatever it is you've done. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved you are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. <sighs> Dangerous. I know. Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. But can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But... It's complicated? Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help. As long as I am able. Well, that's good to hear, too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe. But I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus. I... Let's just figure out how this gate works. Okay? What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varn. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. can't run in there. Latch him onto something. No. Too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Ugh. Wait. Okay? We almost... Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. 
Next time, we'll do it my way. Yes, sir.
It is over. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. can't find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? <laughs> Go away. 
way then. Shield up! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? Heimdall was gonna try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, 
but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Asperger! Garmule Sakerku! There's six tears to close, and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. The Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, all right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Shouldn't let prophecy define. Do you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. 
Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might. 